Hi, today I'm going to be looking at how does a dishwasher work? Now, I've been around dishwashers most of my life, but I never quite fully understood exactly how they worked. And they're a very interesting machine and certainly a very widespread machine that many people in North America have and use almost every day. Just a little history on the dishwasher. I was actually quite surprised to find out that the dishwasher is older than I originally thought. For many years, I was under the impression that the dishwasher was an invention that came along in the 1950s, but it actually came out long before then. And to give you a little history of the dishwasher, it was actually invented by Josephine Cochran, who was from Shelbyville, Illinois, and she actually invented the dishwasher in 1887, believe it or not, so long before the 1950s. And Josephine's early dishwashers were very, very primitive. They did not run on electricity. They were completely operated by hand and completely mechanical. So certainly a, a very sort of primitive device compared to the ones we have today. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how a dishwasher works. Now I'm going to draw this diagram showing you how a dishwasher works. And please excuse my limited artistic skills. <laughs> I'm not a great drawer, but I think you'll still get the general idea. So at the bottom of the dishwasher, uh, you have a basket and you have another basket at the top. And just to let you know, we're looking at a side view of the dishwasher in this diagram. So you have your bottom basket with various dishes and then you have your top basket, usually with various glasses and cups and drinkware. And also there are these things that spin. I'm sure you've seen them called paddles. And there's a paddle on the top and a paddle on the bottom. Now you may have noticed that the paddle on the bottom is metal and the paddle up top is plastic. There's a reason for that. The water as it comes in the bottom of the machine is very, very hot. So that's why the bottom paddle has to be made of metal. And as you can see here in the diagram, there's a pipe usually coming in the back of the dishwasher. And that item I'm drawing in red is a heating element. So as the water comes in through the pipe, it hits the heating element. And as I mentioned, the water usually gets up to about between 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. And then it travels along and by the time it gets to the top, it's cooler. So that's why the top paddle is plastic. So as you can see, the water comes in through the pipe attached to the back. It makes its way to the heating element where it gets heated up. And then it gets drawn along by a pump and the pump ensures that the water moves through the dishwasher. Then it goes up through the bottom paddle and sprays all over the dishes as the paddle spins from the force of the water and it cleans the dishes that way. Then the water continues up and around. It goes up to the top and again by the time it gets to the top level it's cooled somewhat. It hits that top plastic pedal and again the water sprays out from the pedal, hits all the glasses and mugs and cups and it continues along almost in a circuit-like fashion, comes back down again, goes to the bottom and the loop continues all over again. And again, it's all driven by that pump. So again, to review, the water comes in, hits the heating element, the pump draws it through to the bottom paddle where it splashes and hits the plates. The water keeps going up to the top where it hits the top paddle, sprays all over the glasses and cups, continues along in a circuit fashion, and that is it. And that's basically how a dishwasher works.